All right, so this problem, the main important thing that we've been talking about is whenever you have you know the square root of x squared, we know that equals x, yes. right? So our main purpose, what we want to do is we need to get something into you know that squared form. So we're good here. We got an x squared here, yep. but we don't have the 10x or the or the 25 in that form, right? We could actually write 5 squared for 25, but then we don't have the 10x. Well, there comes another issue that we have is that um, you know the square root of x squared plus y squared does not equal x plus y. And that's a very big misconception that a lot of people think. And let's just take a look at it. Um, you know, let's do the square root of, I don't know, what would be a square number? Let's do 4 plus 9. Okay? Well, the square root of 4 plus 9 is going to equal the square root of 13, right? It right. does not equal the square root of 4, which is 2, plus the square root of 9, which is 3. See all those answers are different? Uh -huh. We know the square root of 13 does not equal 5. Yeah. So um, that is what those equal. So what the main point I'm trying to tell you is you cannot just take the square root of even of each one of these terms because yeah. they're separated by an addition okay. sign. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So So they're each to be treated as a separate term? I'm sorry? So they're each to be treated as a separate term? Well, you can't treat them as a separate term. See, the thing is this works for multiplication works. If I said the square root of x squared y squared, that equals x times y. Right. However, the square root of x squared plus y squared does not equal x plus y. Okay? And like I said, I proved that going over, yeah. showing you this, that yeah. you can't just take a squared term, which would be 4 plus 9. Um, that does not equal 2 plus 3, which is 5. That equals the square root of 13, which is a different decimal answer. So. What we need to do is I need to look at, can I either write all of this whole term as a squared term, mm -hmm. or can I write it as you know a multiplication? So I can't take the square root of each one of these three terms. So what I'm going to have to do is, how can I maybe rewrite this? Okay, And what you want to look into is, you, know, you have three terms, which is a trinomial. Mm -hmm. And whenever you have a trinomial, we always want to start looking into factoring techniques. Okay. All right? And you know what happens is if I was to kind of reverse this, and you know if I was going to look into factoring this, uh, you know you could have your uh, your a times your c and your b, and say what two numbers multiply to give me twenty five, mm -hmm. but add to give me five. That'd be five and positive five and positive five. Yeah. So what I could do is write x plus five times x plus five. Okay. Make sense. So therefore now, that is equivalent to x plus 5 squared. So I'm not, without changing any math, without changing any math in the problem, I just rewrote my radicand under my radical as x plus 5 squared. Okay. Is that okay? Yep. That works. So now, that's cool though, because look at Those cancel out, right? Those cancel out. So it equals, or just x plus 5. Right. Makes sense. Makes sense.